Motor neuron disease is a progressive disease involving degenerations of the motor neurons and wasting of the muscles. Keith, Elsa and Stan are just a few of the people deeply affected by MND. They have shared their story with us and how they have dealt with it. I'm Elsa and this is my lovely husband Keith. Yes, lovely. <laughs> So you notice he didn't say lovely Elsa. <laughs> Keith was diagnosed with the wretched motor neuron disease on the 12th of December 2013. Terrible shock, a couple of weeks before Christmas. The Ну, крепись поликлиника. Да ты ж праджи неко там, токё рим то не постабею, как долтос лёгос. It was a huge, huge, massive shock for us. What's that love? Yes. But you can't sit and worry about it. You just have to get on with it. Springimas ir ir kalba, nu ir dirbant jau pavargdau, nuovargi pajausdau, rankos pavargdau, nebe buvo tiek darbinga kaip kaip anksčiau, nu ir par kovo mėnesį šiai iš darbo, nes nebegaliu dirbti. Home came, didn't we? And on the jolly old internet and looked up Motor Neuron Disease Association. Motor Neuron Disease Association is the only national charity in England, Wales and Northern Ireland focused on MND care, research and campaigning. My name's Denise Davis and I'm the Head of Community Fundraising and I've been at the Association for over eight years and I basically manage a team of fundraisers who are incredibly committed volunteers um, who uh, fundraise, raise awareness, um, do uh, aspects of care of people with MND. They very, very quickly sent through the information, didn't they, about um, all of what they do and who they are and what the support you know we could um, receive. Very quickly we had a representative to the home and which was a lady called Sarah, absolutely marvellous. Daug pagalbas sulaukiam iš gaudavam iš hospis. Kaip jau pradėjau pabiškį lygą progresuoti, tai iš pradžių pasiūliu vieną kartą į savaitę, išviešti ją ten į dienos centrą. O jau dar vėliau, kai jau dar dėga paprogresavo, tai du kartus išveždavo, pirmadienį ir ketvirtadienys. Tai iš pradžių labai nenorėjau važiuoti, kol prikalbinu. Nu, sakom, važiuok, pabandyk, gal tikrai pateks, nu, kai vieną kartą nuvažiavo ir išteko. Tai jau valandą laiko prieš išvežant laukdavo jau, nebesulaukdavo, kad atvažiuosi išviešti, labai patikdavo ten būti. Nu, tu pačia aš palsėdavau, man būdavau polsis ir jai ten aplinką pakeisti. Labai kolektyvas draugiškas, nu, vienas žodžių, labai patenkinta būdavau ten. Um, our three mission areas, our three areas that we work in basically as the association is research and we fund worldwide research. Um, is uh, care, so we offer uh, local care and support to people with MND. Uh, we offer financial um, equipment and uh, financial support and equipment. Um, and in terms of uh, the third mission is uh, campaigning and awareness raising. We have had the, um, the ice bucket challenge, which I have to say, whoever came up with that should have a knighthood. Because in, you know, financially it's been absolutely brilliant for the association, but raising awareness of it is, is probably almost priceless, I would say. Oh, well, yes, I do remember when it all happened. It all kicked off in August, um, and we knew about it sort of quite... Uh, few weeks sort of into August but we didn't know how much um, how much we would raise from it or how much awareness because you never know if these things are going to take off or not you know the great British public is what made it happen really and people sharing their stories on social media um, so I remember it very well because my boss was actually on holiday. <laughs> After hearing from Denise, Keith and Elsa talking about the explosion of the ice bucket challenge it's interesting to see why this particular craze went viral so quickly. 
Dr. Theodore Kuliris from the University of Brighton, explains some of the reasons why. Well, first of all, because it has to do with charity, yeah? Because it has to do with a noble cause. First of all, that secondly, it, it was something in the actual nature of, um, of, of, of the act, which was um, uh, innovative, um, sort of drenching oneself, you know, dousing oneself with, with, uh, with ice and, and water. Um, there was there was quite there was a novel experience in that, and of course because it was it was the act of nomination, so it was close people with whom one has close ties, yeah, yeah strong ties uh, on, on on social media, ask them nominate them to do thereby enhancing um, the nominees, if you like, instrumental motivation in carrying out this thing, this 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 act of self humiliation. Yeah, and it's very, very. Of course, you know, something like that was was expected that it was that it would go viral on social media. And it did become a craze, um, and in three weeks we brought in about seven million. We brought in seven million pounds, which is just phenomenal. As an association, we normally raise the year before we raise sixteen million, so we raised half a year's income in three weeks. I think the awareness it's given worldwide is priceless and you know it is a horrible disease you know it's not like any other you know research all of those other things we sincerely hope that you know that they will find something biomarkers or some cause of it and, and be able to um, do something to help people like Keith and I and all the other people that have it in time. Anything that that raises awareness of a certain issue yeah is, is a good thing especially when it comes to charity and we've um, we've sort of Keith's very good at sign language <laughs> <laughs> when his voice goes a bit funny, and uh, we've got all mannerisms, all manner of things we do, but uh, we get on with it, lovey, don't we? We do. We do. Yes. And we have each other, and you know, we will always talk in terms of it's our condition and our disease, and we are dealing with motor neuron because that's exactly how we view it. You know, it is our condition. Yes, I had to go out driving, so Elsa is the driver, the cook, decorator. You mean cook, you never cook. Electrician. She has to do all those things now that I used to be able to do in the blink of an eye. But you are a back street dri um, a back seat driver. He's a side street seat driver. Ну, які береки, які под побайгос, і лайк що дало, і і виска, тік тік кад, я от пати ці кельтня галедо, ну, ти пуся мету. Рек дало і рапренк, і нуренк, ну, правда, кетре з дня нас грина я гуле лови. Ну, саусь от 30, саусь от перма я не не липаєш лова, сир. Stan tragically lost his wife to MND. However, he has remained appreciative of the help he received, which made Nina's last days more comfortable. After speaking to various different people, about the struggles of motor neuron disease, it's clear to see that there is still hope and indeed life after being diagnosed with MND.